failure to qualify directly for the FIBA World Championship at last year's Eurobasket was a huge disappointment for Lithuania, one of the best supported teams in basketball. The country that had provided so many thrills for the past two decades was without many of its leading players. In fact, the lack of a good point guard killed their chances. They won just one game in Poland, and that was against lowly Bulgaria. A tremendous performance here by Bulgaria. They came to the brink of one of the big upsets in Eurobasket history. Poland, Turkey, Serbia, Slovenia, and Spain beat Lithuania like a drum. The Lithuanians, whose fans showed up in mass and helped create a wonderful atmosphere, returned to the Baltics devastated. Lithuania claimed one of four wild cards for the FIBA World Championship thanks to the passionate fan base and the fact that they are staging Eurobasket 2011 as well as the tradition of excellence in the country. Kastutis Kanzura has been on the Lithuanian national team bench before. He was at the last FIBA World Championship in Japan as an assistant coach to Antonis Sereka. Having worked alongside the likes of David Blatt at Benetton Treviso and also guided clubs like BC Kempke, Kimzura was targeted by Latvia and he guided them at last year's Eurobasket. While they failed to reach the quarterfinals, Kimzura was still offered the chance to stay in charge of Latvia, but he instead applied for the Lithuania post following the country's sacking of Ramunas Butaltas. He beat out Butaltas' assistant, Remus Curtinitis, for the national team job. Seamus Eusitis might be described as a prototypical Lithuania forward. Now 28 years old, the 2.01 meter Eusitis is a lethal shooter and loves to get up and down the court in a fast-paced game. Last year in Poland, he averaged 12.5 points, second best on the team, and shot better than 68% inside the arc and 66% beyond it. Desaitis for three, nails one. 69-66. It was the effort play by Livinovich that created that. Since playing at the FIBA World Championship in Japan, his scoring has increased substantially every year. Yosaitis is a below average rebounder though and pulled down just three per game for the Baltic Giants at the Eurobasket. On a team crying out for leadership, the time has come for Yosaitis to step up on defense and have a louder voice in the huddle and on the court. Since the breakup of the Soviet Union, Lithuania has been one of the darlings of the international game. After bronze medals at the 1992 and 1996 Olympics, the Lithuanians freshened up the squad and showed signs of greatness at the 2000 Olympics when they nearly upset the USA in the semifinals before beating Australia in the bronze medal game. After failing to qualify for Indianapolis in 2002, Lithuania hit back with a vengeance and captured gold at Eurobasket 2003. Without leading players in Japan, Lithuania edged Italy in a 71-68 thriller to reach the FIBA World Championship quarterfinals, but then fell to eventual champion Spain. There are numerous questions surrounding the Lithuania team as they head to Turkey for the FIBA World Championship. Will the Baltic Giants have a capable point guard? Can new coach Kestutis Kimzura bring back the positive vibes and get the national side ready for 2011 when Lithuania hosts the Eurobasket? Lithuania caught a break at the draw when they fell into Group D, which has another wildcard team in Lebanon, along with New Zealand and Canada, sides Lithuania should have a great chance of beating. Also in the preliminary round games in Ismir, Lithuania will go up against defending champion Spain and a very athletic France.